right, good morning. Welcome to Cotton Tree. Um, we are just currently here filming a quick little intro because it's the calmest water we can find. But today's video is all on the Brizzy. Lots of different compiled videos. Rays, sharks, butter bream, all sorts of jazz. Exactly, and you're going to be amazed with some of the footage because some of the interactions we had with the marine life was insane. So you guys are going to love this. Yeah, hopefully. Enjoy the video and we'll see you later. See you guys on the flip side. Bye. So today is going to be a special video of the XHMAS Brisbane. This is our local wreck off of Malulaba that's always got something to offer. In this video, I've gathered a bunch of clips from a few different dives where it was just absolutely incredible. And we're starting off pretty strong with this bull ray who is just chilling at the bow of the boat, closely followed by an eagle ray. Now eagle rays are not an uncommon occurrence on the wreck, but you'll see coming up in just a second this was really really special one eagle ray passed by and our management and mark are always asking for videos so i pulled out the gopro and i figured you know what why not take a video and i start filming this one eagle ray and then i look to my left and i see two or three more i'm like oh that's pretty cool it's a little school of them and then more and more and more and i believe by the end of it i counted 24 eagle rays that came past me and they did not even care that I was there. It was so cool. I was waiting for a group on the stacks at this point. So I'm at about seven or eight meters and you'll see the eagle rays are just so interested that I'm here as well. So this guy comes up to check me out, which was just so incredible. Now, eagle rays are pretty used to current and you can actually see it shifting in this video here. So quite often when we've got a little bit of current, the eagle rays will come out to play and some of the slightly larger animals that are happy to deal with that current. So you take it or you leave it. If you don't like diving in current, that's understandable, but it does bring the really cool things on the wreck. Now, as I said, this is filmed over a couple of dives. So the visibility is slightly variable. Some dives had good visibility, some dives had slightly worse visibility, but here we are popping underneath the stern, saying hello to the snappers as we head under the stern to see the other side of the wreck. Now we're dropped at about 27 meters and we find this cool little guitar shark. He's been around the wreck recently pretty frequently, just going up and down the port side of the boat. And on this day, he was accompanied by this little tiny sergeant major who was trying to steal the show. Obviously, he couldn't do that. The guitar shark is much, much cooler. So we got a video of the guitar shark, but here comes the sergeant major just to say hello. And often in the sand, you see other types of shark or ray. On this particular day, we had four rays in the sand. They are a bit skittish, so as you get close, one of them will go and it will scare the rest of them away. But you can just see the pattern on these guys. It's so cool. And they're quite often around the wreck, hidden in the sand, pretty tough to see. On a day with good visibility, you can see them from pretty far away and then sneak up on them nice and slow and I hope not to scare them away. The absolute classic thing you have to do when you go to the XHMAS Brisbane is head down the stacks, which is exactly what I'm doing here. It dropped me into the engine room and then I popped up one level to come and say hello to my Butterbroom friends. These are usually all over the stacks at five meters, but on this day with our slight pushing current, we decided they decided that they wanted to pop into the wreck to shelter from the current. So they were in there and then you'll see them again later in the control room. They're such funny little fish. They let you come really close up. And then we circle our way all the way back around to the stern. Now recently, I've been calling this area of the stern the lion's den because it's just been absolutely teeming with lionfish. 
If you know Mark and I and you've seen our past videos, you know we're not scared of lionfish. They're actually invasive back home, so we see them and we think they would be much better on a dinner plate. But here in Australia, we leave them be, let them do their thing, and they've been just crowding around this area of the stern recently, hence the name Lion's Den. Now, I quite often like to end my dive with the control room because it's a slightly shallower room you can go and explore and it's got this really cool hatch which you can still open after the wreck being sunk for 17 years. There's a couple of these areas in the wreck which you can open and close still, which is really cool. So we often show customers that and then on my fun dives, I always like to come and do that. And you can see where the intercept kill and survival switches were. Then we pop outside and I think this is the same bull ray from earlier, though I'm not totally sure, he didn't tell me that exactly, but he looks pretty similar and he was in a similar spot on the wreck. So I reckon this is the same bull ray. So got a quick video of that guy before heading up for a safety stop, which is always accompanied by batfish and butterbreams all over the stacks. Now there's always something to see on the Brizzy. There's recently been manta ray sightings, dolphins, eagle rays, bull rays, guitar sharks, snappers, all sorts of stuff. You can do this wreck many, many, many times and there's always something different. So that's what I wanted to show in this video that over multiple dives, there's always something interesting to see. And hopefully if you guys are in the area one day, you'll come and dive it with Mark and I and we'll show you all the cool little spots. <laughs> this is our third time trying to film an outro here. It's not going too well. So check out the outtakes, but we'll get this one right. <laughs> Okay, so how was the eagle ray interaction with you guys? Funnily enough, the eagle rays were not doing much talking today, but there were lots of them. So I think they just came from an eagle ray council meeting and they were just passing on by. That's because I heard you called them a squadron last time. Yes, they are called a fever. I'm very sorry. I apologize to any eagle rays that watched that video. I know, and what about the interaction when the eagle ray came and actually checked you out? Like, how cool was that? Yeah, that was actually really cool. He came up like right by me and how close it looks in the video is actually how close it was in real life. He came up and then he was like, and then the interaction of the bull rays, the guitar shark. I like that the bull rays, can you see my arms in this? Yes. I like that they do this. As they swim, it's so cool. Because eagle rays do this, bull rays do this. <laughs> oh my god, you need help. I don't need any help. <laughs> Alright guys, as always, thank you so much. See you next time. Bye. Bye. Hello, what is your name? Okay, my name's Mark. Apparently I'm being interviewed right now to talk about this dive, but the epic footage you saw was actually from Holly. So we're gonna flip roles and interview Holly. I'm Holly. <laughs> what are you gonna say? So how was the dive? Yeah, it was good, a very good dive, lots of eagles. What do you have to say about the allegations against you? It's a weird looking mic, this one's a lot better. <laughs> um, wait, <laughs> hold on, <laughs> shut up. <laughs>